Hey friends, it's Victoria here again for another story time with me. And today I am so excited for our story time because we are going to have a pajama party. So if you don't have pajamas on right now, I want you to pause the video, go run as fast as you can and get some pajamas on you and your family as we read together Pajama Day by Robert Munch. The cover of the book is set in a classroom on pajama day. Andrew is wearing a yellow onesie while sleeping in bins of books. Four of his classmates are standing in front of him. One of the girls and one of the boys are in green pajamas. The other girl and boy are in blue pajamas. They think Andrew is being silly, which makes them giggle. If you have this book at home, we invite you and your family to follow along. When you hear the chime, it's time to turn the page. All right, now that we all have our pajamas on and we're ready to go, here we go. Pajama Day by Robert Munch. Andrew's old pajamas were full of holes, so his father took him to get some new ones. Andrew is at home standing in front of his closet mirror. He notices his light blue pajamas are too small and have lots of holes. His little sister finds it funny and laughs at him. She is wearing a pink shirt and red shorts with white hearts. They went to a store and Andrew said, Yuck! These pajamas do not feel right. They went to another store and Andrew said, Yuck! These pajamas do not smell right. They went to another store and Andrew said, Yuck! These pajamas do not taste right. I'll wear my old ones. Andrew, wearing a red shirt with jeans, and his father, wearing a plaid shirt with jeans, are in a clothing store. They are being helped by a worker wearing a gray suit and tie. Andrew's father picked out pink pajamas with a black collar, black trim on the arms and legs, and black trim on the shirt pockets. Andrew is not impressed and turns his head away. The worker seems frustrated. His father took him to one more store. Way in the back was a rack that said, perfect pajamas. Andrew looked at the pajamas and said, all right, they look okay. He smelled the pajamas and said, all right, they smell okay. He tasted the pajamas and said, all right, they taste okay. So his father bought the pajamas. Andrew and his father are in the back of another store. They are surrounded by a clutter of items like a chainsaw, candlestick holder, paintings, a joker's hat, and much more. Andrew pulls out a pair of yellow onesie pajamas with excitement on his face. The next day was pajama day at school. Andrew put one foot into his new pajamas and yawned once. He put the other foot in and yawned twice. He put one arm in and his eyes closed. He put the other arm in and he fell fast asleep. Andrew is at school, in his classroom, sitting on a green beanbag chair. He yawns as he slides his second foot into his yellow pajamas. In the background, two girls from his class are realizing they're wearing the exact same outfit as each other, light top and blue pants. This was very strange because it was only nine o'clock. Andrew's teacher, put him in the back of the room and said, he'll wake up in a bit. Andrew is fast asleep. He's being carried over the shoulder by his teacher who is wearing white pajamas with blue stripes head to toe. The other children in class are also wearing their pajamas and are following close behind. Andrew slept until recess and his teacher started to get worried. He slept until lunch and the principal started to get worried. He slept all afternoon, and even the kids started to get worried. At the end of the day, the teacher called for a doctor. Andrew is sleeping in bins of books at the back of the classroom. His classmates are gathered around him with concern, while the teacher calls for a doctor. The doctor bonked Andrew on the knee, looked in his ears, and looked in his eyes. She said that he was fine, but Andrew was still asleep. Then Andrew's big sister came to walk him home from school. She said, I'm going to call mom. The doctor is wearing a white coat with a stethoscope in her pocket. She examines Andrew in the classroom while his teacher and classmates watch close by. 
Andrew's mother took one look and said, I see what's wrong. He's wearing perfect pajamas. She took Andrew's arm out of the pajamas and he yawned. She took his other arm out of the pajamas and he opened one eye, but just for a second. She took out one foot and he opened both his eyes. She took out the other foot and Andrew jumped up and said, is it recess yet? Andrew, wearing a t-shirt and red polka dot boxers, stands wide awake in the classroom. The books he was sleeping on are scattered on the floor. Andrew's mother is wearing a red shirt and jeans. She is standing beside him, holding his yellow pajamas. The whole class is gathered around, glad to see Andrew is okay. But the doctor and teacher look a little confused. The principal came in and said, What's going on here? Look, said Andrew's mother. It was perfect pajamas that made Andrew sleep. These are perfect pajamas. That's crazy, said the principal. I say there's no such thing as perfect pajamas, and I'm a principal, so I know everything twice. But just to be sure, the principal decided to try them out. The principal is in the classroom wearing a light pink shirt, darker pink tie, and khaki pants. Andrew's mother is standing in front of the principal, holding up those perfect yellow pajamas. Andrew and his classmates are gathered around. The principal looked at the pajamas, and they looked okay. He smelled the pajamas, and they smelled okay. He tasted the pajamas, and they tasted okay. He put one foot in the pajamas, and he yawned. He put the other foot in the pajamas, and he yawned again. He put his arms in the pajamas, and he fell fast asleep. The principal is now wearing those perfect yellow pajamas and is fast asleep on the classroom floor. Andrew's mother and teacher can't believe it, but the children find it funny. Andrew's mother carried the principal back to his office, and then she took Andrew home. The principal is fast asleep in his office. He is sitting in his black desk chair with his feet up on the wood desk. Andrew's classmates and mother are looking in from the doorway. Then, Andrew's mom made him some real perfect pajamas. They kept Andrew as warm as toast, even on very cold nights. And they were really perfect, because they only made Andrew go to sleep when he wanted to go to sleep. Back home in his room, Andrew is asleep in bed on top of his blue comforter. He is laying on his stomach with his bum up in the air, wearing his red onesie pajamas. A gust of wind came in from the open window, causing the light green curtains to blow and his dark green lamp to topple over. And the principal? He's still sleeping. The principal is sleeping in his office, still wearing those perfect yellow pajamas. The children surround him making lots of noise and throwing things around the room. Someone is even playing a tuba, but they can't seem to wake him. The end. Well, thank you so much for joining again today. We'll see you next time. Stay safe and stay healthy. Have a great pajama day. Bye. For more information on activities you can do at home, go to www.abilitycenter.org.